Hi guys, and welcome to Florida Day. Bye. everyone what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Brianna and and, and Corey is over there he's just getting ready for the day we are up bright and early we were up at 6 30 at 7 15 I know that we're normally up that early to go into the parks but we are not going into the parks today we are actually golfing at the Palm Golf Course here which is the golf course directly behind like the Polynesian area we decided to stay at Saratoga so that we could golf and because we were flying southwest, so all the stars aligned. And when Corey went to basically book a tee time at Saratoga, they were like, oh, we're only running a 14 hole course right now because our other eight holes are under construction or we're like having them worked on and renovated. And Corey was like, well, if I come to Disney and I lug my clubs here, like I wanna actually golf a full 18 holes. So I said, great, let's do it in another course. Let's book it first thing in the morning so we still have the afternoon to rest and enjoy each other. So that is exactly what we are doing this morning. And then later this afternoon, we're gonna explore Saratoga. It's gonna be a beautiful, sunny, warm day. So we're excited to explore the resort, do some swimming, have a nice lunch and then tonight for dinner we are headed to Morimoto Asia at Disney Springs and we're just really looking forward to it. Corey is over here getting his clubs ready, his shoes on and like doing all of his little nonsense over there. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of our Disney vlogs or any of my videos that come once I'm home. It's going to be a really fun filled day. I am very I'm excited to golf. I think it's something really different. I'll even do a little let me let me and Corey do an OOTD. All right, so good morning. We're doing an OOTD. I'll go first because mine is quick. I have a little gray sweatshirt on that says standing clear since I think 1955 or something. It's basically an Epcot sweatshirt. I've got my black Abercrombie athletic dress on, my Adidas. Are they, no, not Swift Runs. Ultra Boost, our other ones are that. And then I've got my little Mickey Amazon socks to still be a little Disney. And then I've got my Walt Disney World visor over there that I'm going to put on. But Corey's outfit is really the outfit of the day. Go ahead. Uh, Walt Disney World golf red hat. Yep. Mickey Mouse He's golfing. So Nike golf polo. Yep. Uh, golf shorts are from Target, people. Target. The best the golf, golf shorts. shorts. We always buy his golf shorts And there. then we have uh, Just Nike, Nike Air golf shoes. golf shoes. And then the most important accessory is the golf clubs, which are literally on the floor back here. Okay. So we are headed out. We're so excited to golf today. I am golfing, but not really. I basically said I really wanted to join, and I'm going to bring my Kindle, and I'm just going to be a passenger princess this morning and just enjoy the golf course. I've got on my cute little outfit. I'm wearing my visor. I'm going to read, rest, recharge. Corey's just excited to what is it hit them long and straight long is that long and straight yep. hitting them long, long and straight. straight so let's go have a really nice morning at the Palm Golf Course at Disney from the golf cart. I'm gonna try to not be like super loud and obnoxious while vlogging, especially during golf. Today we are golfing with two other gentlemen. So it is Corey, myself, and then the other two gentlemen. And the one thing that I think Corey loves about, this is gonna sound silly, but I think the thing that Corey loves about bringing me golfing is that it means that there's technically only three playing, not four. So the pace of play is a lot faster. 
So we're having a good start. Everyone's just having a really good time. It's so beautiful. If I show you right here, right up, where's my hand? You can see it, oh, not really, this way is the Poly. And you can see the new like Polynesian DVC resorts going up. We saw the monorail drive by. The course is super wet. So they said only cart path place. You can't bring your cart onto the course, which Corey's like, I need to start hitting it closer to the cart path because this walking is going to get really old. So we're having a nice start. It is 8.25. We're on hole one. We are golfing 18. So let's see how I fare in the golf cart. I brought my book, but let's just have a nice little afternoon. I'll check in at pieces. And yeah, right now we're still on hole one. Here is the golfer on his way back and he's gonna say that he's really over the walking and lots of walking today hi everyone we're having a beautiful day i'm gonna let Corey chat about it but it is 11 12 we are 17 minutes ahead we're on hole 14. brianna's loving these 17 minutes ahead of pace i am enjoying the ahead pace but how you're playing well today i'm playing very well there's some holes i wish i could take back yep. the first two holes of the front and the back nine well the fir first Brutal. hole in the front and the, the first, first hole drive the back. like every Terrible. time the first time Corey ever picks up that driver it sucks <laughs> He might as well just pick it up and throw it in the but water. Everything else has been great. I shot a 45 yeah. on the front, so we're on yeah. pace for 90, which yes. is all I ask for every single time. Yeah. So we shall see what we get. Um, maybe Brianna does a little swinging montage. Yeah. To a showcase. swinging montage, no, but we're going to do some videos of me putting next. But oh. Corey also hit a good drive. So yeah. we're going to enjoy our game. We're having the best time, but wants to just do a little check-in. We're having a good time. Get it! Alrighty, we are home from golf and it's one o'clock, so it's definitely a little bit later than I would have liked. I'm gonna be honest, Corey and I were just talking about this. It was really fun. I think it was a great, enjoyable morning. Let me tell you though, if you're not booking that early tea time, don't even bother going because it's so unbelievably hot. It, it, no, but it got hot like early. early. It was by like the sixth or seventh hole where I'm like, oh, oh my, my God, God it's hot. hot. And because it was raining, we had to do like, cart path cart only path play only. which means that you can't bring your cart onto the green like you normally can because it would have torn up the greens so we left or woke up at 6 30 it's 109 we're finally back at the resort we're changed like ready to go to the i almost said the beach ready I to go you're to, about the, to say the biggie yeah, i was like mm. ready to do something so we're ready to go to the pool and we're gonna have some lunch i would say if you're not a golfer, i.e. for me. It was really fun for me to be able to like vlog and tag along and where I did have a really good time. I don't think it's something that I'll do again. Like I would love, you know, for Corey to do it again, of course, if he wants to because he's a golfer, so he likes to golf and whatnot. But when you tack on like golfing and then you're shopping in the pro shop and then you're waiting on the taxi and then you get back to your resort and then you got to walk to your room and then you got to change. It's a big undertaking. And I think if, if we ever did it again together, like it just it wouldn't be 18 yeah. holes. Like unless you're doing something outside of your significant other, cause you're not a golfer. It's just a really long, right. really long day. With that being said, let's talk pricing really quickly on golfing. If you're interested in golfing, how much was it for us to So golf? I have an annual pass. So because yep. of that, I get 40% off. So for each golfer, it was 101. So I had okay. to pay for Brianna as a golfer. So yeah, cause you can't just ride in the car. In total, correct. Without it, I want to say it's in like the one, 50 155 range without okay. the discount. I thought it was a really beautiful course. I think it's great to be able to golf at Disney again. I actually would have enjoyed being just a cart rider and I was, so I was kind of driving around. I would putt once in a while, but 150 or 100 to not be a golfer is a lot. We That's also lot. wanted to do it because I wanted to be there to vlog and I knew that he was going to be encompassed golfing as he should have been. So I wanted to be there to kind of vlog the experience. So I definitely think it was really great and I definitely think you should do it again. Like, did you enjoy the course I enjoyed as a it golfer? Very much. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And it was really beautiful and I. As someone that's not a golfer, right? I think if you go with someone that is and wants to golf, enjoy your resort, enjoy the pool, head into the parks for the morning. If you're an annual pass holder, you know, maybe you're the mom of the family and you can do the laundry with the kids while you're at the pool or something. Cause I do think it was a really beautiful experience. But for me, it's just like a lot of time in the sun when you're not, when you're not the one like fully enjoying everything, but I still did think it was a really good time. And I'm so glad that you had a lot of fun too. So we're headed to the pool. We're gonna explore the resort as well, but we're getting lunch first. So let's head to either the pool bar, pool bar or the quick service where we're gonna do lunch today. And then we're gonna do nice swimming and just enjoy our afternoon. Hi everyone, we are at the pool. We've been at the pool for since what, one? 
115? Yeah, I think it was like 115, like one, honestly, maybe even pushing 130 ish because we had checked in with the vlog. It is now 410 basically. It has been such a lovely little afternoon. We just kind of like relaxed, we laid low. We're sitting under an umbrella now because this sun, yeah, this sun this afternoon was like all types of hot, really, really warm. And we just had a really lovely little pool afternoon. It's something that I feel like I definitely needed on the vacation. And I just took another nap. I've been like sleeping every day. Yeah, you've been sleeping. Like just taking little naps in the afternoon. Maybe my body is just like not Disney conditioned. We've also done like some pretty early mornings. Like yesterday, obviously we slept in, but again, we woke up at like 7.30. This morning we were up at 6.30. Tomorrow's gonna be an early morning too. So, and I also wanna say like, I slept the best in the bed last night. Like truly was like unmatched. One of like the best sleeps I've ever had in a Disney hotel was I last night. Like it was such a beautiful sleep. What? Tell the viewers what? about our Hey Disney alarm clock. Oh yeah, that? so I used the Alexa, the Hey Disney like basically they're they have an Alexa that also you can say Hey Disney to it. And I set an alarm this morning and it like started getting brighter and brighter at like 9 20 6 25 and then it was it went off at 6 30 and it was so nice to just, just be like hey so and so music. like set you know set an alarm or whatever which was just really cute Love and it was peaceful music yeah it was definitely like great day like absolutely loved that so we're just enjoying the pool i had a pina colada here but it all kind of like separated because i was sleeping but i drank a good amount of it the rest of it's just probably like the frozen ice and whatnot so we are just enjoying the pool we are going to do i think what we'll probably do is we'll leave the pool we'll do a little bit of exploring around the resort and then we'll probably head to disney Springs. so after this little clip right here i'll make sure to include like a montage of us just exploring Saratoga Springs because we definitely want to be able to explore it but I've got my little resort mug here we're going to Disney Springs tonight for dinner we'll take the boat over we're going to Morimoto Asia so we've had a lovely afternoon quick little pool check-in and yeah, I'm excited to explore a little bit more of Saratoga for our little walk around just like our kind of neck of the woods or neighborhood of the, the resort. Yeah, the Springs area is basically where we are. We're in a preferred room, like I said, but we're all dressed up and ready for Disney Springs, which is nice. The sky looks like it's gonna rain and it's like pretty muggy and humid out, but I think we're gonna skip out on the rain jackets for the night, unless you think, I don't know, it just looks like it's gonna rain, the but you said it's not. future forecast, so according to the hourly, yeah. this is 20% at seven, and 30% at eight. Yeah. I look at the future radar and it doesn't show anything. Okay. So, unlike the other night where I was like, let's take them just in case because there was something that popped up that was too close right. to recover, there's nothing There's nothing here. tonight. So, I feel okay, but okay. I am okay with taking it. So, we're doing a little outfit of the night. I'm gonna get questions. Earrings are from Bobble Bar, these little Mickeys. However, I didn't buy them from Bobble Bar. I actually bought them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, like one of those kinds of stores, and I've been like hoarding them for this trip. So, little Mickeys, and then my shirt is from H&M, my bag is from Uniqlo, black linen shorts are from H&M, and I'm just wearing my Target like memory foam sandals because I was gonna wear my Cheetah ones, but I'm just like, I don't want to be uncomfortable. And now let's do Corey's OOTD. I think I know where all of your stuff is from. I'm staying in the shade so I don't get burnt. Good idea. <laughs> your top is from Old Navy. I know that. Amen. Shorts are from J. Crew Drawstring. And shoes are Sperry's. Absolutely. And that's what we've got. We have made it to Disney Springs. Oh, 
Corey is taking what? I'm providing context for oh, you all. I was You're like, welcome. we've made it to Disney Springs. We're eating dinner at Morimoto Asia tonight. I can't flip it. Me too. There's so many things on the menu that I'm like excited about and to try. And now that you all know I'm in my like raw tuna era, like I enjoy that kind of sushi. Let's get you into the raw salmon era. No, no, I've tried it and I don't particularly care for the texture, but you can have it. We're also, I just showed Corey what a Gideon's cookie looks like. I Corey, never noticed. Yeah that they were as intense as what they are. It's basically well, a cake. Yeah, and Corey was like, I would never wait in that line for a cookie. I was for like, have you seen what the cookie looks like? And he was like, no. And I was like, okay, pause. Like, pull over, I need to show you this cookie. Showed him the cookie and he was like, I'd wait in that line for 20 minutes, wait 30 it. minutes. Wait so it. we're gonna hopefully try to get into the virtual queue after we do dinner, fingers crossed. But we're wait, headed into like Morimoto Asia time. now and we're gonna take you all along on our entire dining experience. All right, so the ambiance in here is so beautiful. I absolutely love just like this dark, almost like, what would you, I don't know, it's just like fun and moody, I guess. And it just looks really, really beautiful in here. The music is fun, and then it looks like we'll be sitting hopefully up these stairs. All right, so we are at Morimoto Asia. We checked in. I ended up going for the Dragon's Roar. Dragon fruit, yuzu, and club soda. I got a mocktail just because, you know I'm not a cocktail girly, but. Oh, that is very good. I knew you were gonna I like very it. very much like that. All right, let's try yours. I have the lemon mist. It is absolute mandarin vodka, nigori sake, pointro, cherry blossom syrup, cranberry, and lemon. Okay, cheers. And? Is it good? It's nice. It flows through nicely. The citrus is very subtle. Not really a burny alcohol it taste with the two. It's like drink, Corey. You all know I love a miso soup. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry, but got my miso soup. Now we're just waiting on our sushi rolls. A little blurry. Sorry, we've got some bad lighting in here, but we went with the crab, or no, excuse me. Well, yes, it's the spider roll, but it's soft shell crab with crispy tempura on top and oh yeah I am so excited to try this you guys know the drill it's a little dark in here but I went with the beef lo mein noodles I just did mine without mushrooms because I am not a mushroom fan but oh my god that looks to die for and then Corey what did you get the fried there's a lot of things going rice. on it's fried rice but it has duck shrimp pork, chicken. and chicken in it and it's fried rice and it has a spicy miso sauce on top, yeah, on top of it so we are gonna dig in and we'll do a full review once we leave we are finished up at Morimoto it was delicious we're gonna do like a full Absolutely yeah it was really there. really good it's so underrated we're gonna do a nice review once we actually get back to Saratoga just because we're gonna have a nice little evening at Disney Springs I got a hot chocolate I know you're probably like Brianna you're just complaining that it was really hot yeah but the stores are like literal ice boxes so I walk in and I like literally freeze so I got a little hot chocolate and Corey got his shaken Jamaican like blend of coffee that he loves and we always get when we're here so we are complete now yeah now we're complete we could go home we could go home tomorrow <laughs> even though we're not going home for another three days but we are headed to world of disney uniqlo probably stance socks for corey and yeah we're just going to enjoy a nice little disney springs evening so come along with us we're going to have a nice little enjoyable evening it just like did a pretty good rain down while we were eating so i'm glad that we are kind of finished with that now and we can just walk around and enjoy disney springs but i've got a little beverage it's actually it's always nice post rain oh i think Corey wants to go into the lego store as well just to yes. see what's in there so Absolutely. we're gonna have a nice little evening at disney springs so we just walked into world of disney can you even with this shirt like i just love this oversized comfy cozy long sleeve so they have it in navy they have it in like this off white but i feel like i have so much in off white and where i feel like i would get the most use out of this one i decided on a different color so corey and i are going to actually twin we normally don't do this but we ended up going for this like seafoam green color so we've already started our basket of things in world of disney okay we did some damage in world of disney i just want to share my story so Corey had seen this sweatshirt, this like black hoodie with Mickey's face on it when, like when this we week in? or like online or something. Oh, online. And I was like, do you need that? And he's like, no, I don't think so. I'm in a way. And I was like, okay. He's so coming to World of Disney. Immediately we found those long sleeve t-shirts, right? All of a sudden we walked past the sweatshirt. I'm like, do you like that? And he's like, yeah, but like, is it a need? And I was like, I don't know. Like you have to kind of decide for yourself. And he kind of contemplated it for a minute. And I was like, you know what? It's gonna be here when we come back. Like, let's just keep walking. Now mind you, we were about three feet from the mugs. All of a sudden I walked to the mugs. 
I look at one and I turn around and I don't see him, I turn over my shoulder and within 10 seconds, he literally had the sweatshirt in his basket. So like I said, we're gonna share all the things that we got. I also got Carter, this like infamous, like Groot Marvel sweatshirt that she's been wanting. I got a long sleeve, Corey got a hoodie and a long sleeve. And oh, I also got a reusable bag because I wanted a new reusable. And uh, World of Disney, you were a success. Oh. We, I like shopping in here. I love shopping. I could have, I was also, I'm still ladies on the hunt for the peace sign sweatshirt. They said it was here, but I think it must have like sold out completely within like a week. So fingers crossed, maybe it's in the marketplace or the co-op or something because I still want it, but it was not at Disney Springs. Hi everyone, we it's are funny. snuggled up in the bed. Mr. Bear, Spenny, Remington, Winston's under here. We're just face washed, ready for bed. We had such a really lovely, lovely night at Disney Springs. It was so fun, but we are both so, so tired as Corey is yawning and you're gonna end up, yep, passing it to me. But we're gonna do our three favorites of the day. Do you wanna start or do you want me to start? Number one was golf. Yeah. Absolutely spectacular. Mm -hmm. Number two was the umbrella at the pool. Much oh, needed yeah, shade. Oh, yeah, much me. needed shade. Number three, Morimoto Asia. Absolutely yeah. stunning of experience. Oh, we didn't even talk about Morimoto. We said we would do that no. when we got back. It was raining. So let's do like a quick one minute recap. I thought it was absolutely incredible. I would have, I would give it an eight out of ten, eight and a half out of ten. I think it is, God bless you, I think it is so underratedly good to the point where when we went to leave, I was like, wow, I feel like we always can get a reservation here. Like, I always see it. Mm -hmm. And a guy came in to see if there was any reservations available, and, and she said, what? They were on how long of a wait? Two hours. A two-hour wait. And the food was just absolutely spectacular. It was so delicious. I got the beef lo mein, thought it was really, really good. I wish there was a little more beef in it and a little more of like fresh onion or veggie or something in it, but I thought it was delicious. And you got the fried rice. Mm-hmm. You liked then it? Then I had, oh my God, it was delicious. But I'll be honest, I probably liked your lo mein more, but it doesn't mean mine wasn't delicious. Yeah. It just, I liked your lo mein more. I have to say, next time we go back, I would like to try the orange chicken and I would also like to try more of the sushi rolls. I think they're known for their sushi and we had the spider roll with like the soft shell tempura crab. It was just a really great experience. So moody, so fun, very different vibe in there. Felt very upscale and different. So I would say my three favorites of the day were, wait, was one of your favorites golfing? Yes, yes, right? Was the first one. I was like, I really can't believe that that wouldn't be one of your favorites. Okay, so I would say one of my first favorites was golfing, just because I feel like it was such a fun experience, even to just like ride in the cart and putt and say that I've like golfed at a Disney golf course. I think that that was really fun, so that was one of my favorites. My second favorite was I took a beautiful nap at the pool, and I actually really enjoyed the Saratoga Springs pool, and they also do like poolside delivery, so you can order at the Rocks pool bar, and then they'll give you a flag and you can stick it on your chair, so I love that I also so didn't have to get up for my lunch. So I just enjoyed like the entire pool. And then I would say we did some, like I got some really good stuff and so did Corey at like Disney Springs and shopping tonight. And that was just really nice to get to go to Disney Springs. We didn't get to go to Gideon's tonight because it started raining yeah. and we would have had to stand in the queue in the rain. And I just, we were not in the mood for that. So we ended up skipping out on Gideon's. Maybe we'll be able to make it in the next two days or so just based off of like we're so close to Disney Springs. Nice. But with that being said, we are gonna end out this vlog. So make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of our Disney vlogs. We've got two left or three left in the series. We got a full Studios and Epcot day tomorrow and a full Magic Kingdom, more like entire full day at Magic Kingdom on our last day to enjoy the magic. So we love you guys so much and we will see you bright and early tomorrow for Studios and Epcot. Bye everyone.